Thank you so much, Erev Tov. Good evening. And please, uh, one more round of applause if I could indulge you to the wife of the ambassador to the State of Israel, my wife Tammy. Where are you? Here. <laughs> Thank you. I don't want to interrupt uh, what's, uh, what's a great evening for too long. I'll just speak for a couple of minutes if, uh, with your indulgence. On behalf of Embassy Jerusalem, on behalf of the Trump administration, on behalf of the United States, I'd like to wish all of you a happy, a healthy New Year. Shana Tova, Umutsuka, and a Ketiva Bechatima Tova. We are uh, a few weeks away from Rosh Hashanah, the Jewish New Year. Of course, uh, as many of you I'm sure know, the Jewish calendar has more than one New Year. In fact, it has uh, four uh, different New Years, according to the rabbis of the Mishnah. Rosh Hashanah itself, that we're about to uh, observe in a few weeks, is actually the first day of the seventh month of the Jewish calendar, the month of Tishrei. But even though it's the uh, first day of the seventh month, it is considered the day that the world was created. And it is the focal date uh, in counting uh, the new year with regard to the reign of, um, with, regard, with, with regard to um, the Jewish calendar. Um, the year is on the Jewish calendar. For example, on this coming new year, we'll start a new year. It would be, uh, what's it gonna be, Tuf Shin Pei? Is that, is that right? That's right, right? Today's, we're now in Tuf Shin Ayin Tet, so we'll be Tuf Shin Pei. Um, the other New Year's, uh, for example, we know that the, uh, the month of uh, Nisan in the Bible is the, uh, is the first month of the uh, biblical calendar. It's the uh, New Year with regard to the biblical calendar. It's the calendar for uh, Jewish uh, holidays. And with regard to um, uh, the reign of kings, we count their reign from the beginning of Nisan. Of course, we haven't had a king in a long time. Uh, no joke intended, and um, um, but if we had one, we would be getting, we would count his reign from the um, first day of uh, Nisan. Um, first day of Elul, we're now in the month of uh, Elul, uh, about halfway through, and uh, the first day of the month of Elul is also considered a Rosh Hashanah. It's the most obscure of the four uh, New Years. It's the the date that we use to calibrate the annual obligation to do the uh, Maser Behema, the obligation in ancient times for Jewish families to take one-tenth of, uh, of their flock, of their, uh, of their sheep, of their cattle, and to bring that to uh, the city of Jerusalem and to eat it there. It was a, uh, it was a commandment simply to come to Jerusalem uh, often, uh, as often as possible and to, uh, and to partake in a, in a meal in that holy city. And of course, you all know that the fourth Jewish New Year is Tu Bishvat, the uh, Rosh Hashanah Le'ilanot, uh, the New Year for Trees. It's actually the, the halachic significance of it is that um, uh, the first, uh, a tree grows uh, fruit, the first three years of the growth, um, you're not allowed to eat. So you count those three years uh, beginning with the first year counting from Tu Bishvat. So those are four New Years. Now, you could look at some of these uh, more in the nature of, uh, of deadlines rather than the nature of a new year. Uh, in the United States, for example, we have most throughout the world, we have one new year. It's on January 1st. And then we have other things. You know, We have April 15th. We have to pay our taxes. We have September 30th is the end of the US government's fiscal year. But we don't call them new years. There's only one new year on the uh, American calendar. There's only one new, year, one new year, to my knowledge, and any other calendar in the world. Why do we have? four separate New Year's uh, in the Jewish calendar. Um, I'll suggest a, uh, a, uh, an answer. I don't know if I'm right or wrong, but I would suggest that there is a biblical message here uh, to inject the maximum amount of renewal into our daily life, to give us as many opportunities as possible to begin again, to participate in the excitement of rebirth, 
and uh, to reflect on new opportunities. Instead of one new year and one new year's resolution and one opportunity to look forward, if we miss it one, on, on one occasion, we've got three more throughout the year to think about it all over again. And so uh, there, is a, there is a message here of uh, renewal, of rebirth, of, of beginnings. And of course, uh, as someone who just had the privilege of sending uh, this little girl off to school uh, for the first time in, uh, in uh, Israel, this is our granddaughter, Olivia. I'll say hi, Olivia. Um, <laughs> so Olivia started, uh, Olivia just started first grade in Israel. Uh, her parents are here someplace, but she's hanging out with us. So as, uh, as someone who uh, we had the great joy of seeing uh, a granddaughter start a school and learn how to speak Hebrew like an Israeli instead of the way I do, which is like a New Yorker. Um, and, uh, and we have, uh, thank God, other grandchildren starting school. Someone who appreciates the, uh, the beauty and excitement and anticipation of new beginnings. Uh, here uh, under the Jewish calendar, there are ample opportunities for us to uh, reflect on new beginnings and new opportunities. So in that spirit, um, I'd like to uh, wish all of you uh, uh, and, and to give you a, a blessing that the excitement of Rosh Hashanah, the anticipation and the thinking and the opportunity to really start again, to be reborn, to renew our, our commitment to the things that we hold dear and cherish, that that uh, commitment will hold us uh, captivated, motivated, in pursuit of a meaningful, uh, successful, uh, uh, productive, happy, healthy year, uh, and carry us into uh, the next uh, Rosh Hashanah when we meet again, God willing, next year. So if you all join me uh, in, a, uh, in a toast, um, I wish all of you a happy, a healthy, a successful, a prosperous, and most importantly, a peaceful, New Year, Yehir Atzon, Shetachadei Shalainu, Shana Tova Umutuka, Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Barei Peri HaGafen. Amen. 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 Amen.